Ranger, Rob Ocho, and the CW of Champion, Justin Flo, they are the Enterprise! For those of you joining us at home, we are here in Milton, Florida, at the Panther Den. And this is our Panther Draw for All, a benefit show for local wrestling teams. We want to thank you for viewing and watching and catching us tonight. We are now being joined by our favorite commentator, Donnie Harris Jr. Good to be at the desk here, Zach, for Panther Brawl. Going to be hearing from Justin Flo, who at Proving Ground 5, with a little bit, a lot of help, I might add, from the Enterprise was able to retain his title in that triple threat matchup between Simon Phillip, Phillips and TNA's Moose. My broadcast partner Zach gonna bring him the microphone. Justin Flo is a bird that wants to crow at this moment, point in time. Clap for our champ, Donnie, clap for our champ. He was able to get the job done, but it comes with an asterisk, he had a lot of help. Winning is winning. It Winning is winning, yes. The full hawk will go when he wants to go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerds and losers alike. One month to go. Your boy, the Fluhawk, Justin Flow, stepped into this very ring in Pensacola against that defiant moron, Simon Phillips, and the self-proclaimed leader of the system, former TNA heavyweight champion, Moose. For this CWF championship, you will shut up when I'm talking. It was a hard fought battle for the Flowhawk, I ain't gonna lie. I went through fight, blood, sweat, tears, anguish, pain. I took two of Moose's spears, and guess what, Loser? At the end of the day, the Flowhawk always wins. The Flow Enterprise always wins, and this goal is still here. And while Moose's shoulders may have not been pinned, your boy, the Flow Hawk, the Royal Flow, has a W over Moose. That means I joined a special club of Joe Hendry, Nick Namath, and now Justin Flow. And he did it all by himself. Knowing that I am, without a shadow of a doubt, the most deserving, the most talented, the most undefined champion in CWF history and the greatest talent in the Southeast, period. You are all basking in greatness and you should kiss the ground upon which I stand. I am the Royal Fool and these are my boys, Jake Danger, the most dangerous man in sports entertainment and our new a becoming associate, Mr. Rob Ocho. I see we have two, maybe three smart people out of this entire crowd. Hey, you know what? That, that's more people kissing your keys in your mind. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But hey, you know what? We didn't do this alone. The person who set this match up, the man who understands what real talent is, who the real group of wrestlers are in this promotion, a man who quite literally is thunderous, electrifying, undefining. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you the man who understands what great talent is, Marshall Briggs. Well, Donnie, that's a giant accolade for the Flowhawk. Let's not, let's be real. 
He joins a prestigious group of people. Technically, everything he said was correct, but as I said, he had a lot of help. A lot of help indeed. Oh, and we are being graced by our D1 champion, Marshall Briggs. Marshall Briggs, the D1 champion, actually had two matches at Proving Ground, an impromptu match with, with Brandon Collins for the CWF title right after Brandon Collins had been through that war with Chris Mason. He was victorious. Marshall Briggs was victorious and successfully defended the title, then went up against Manimal, and it didn't quite pan out for the Marshall with a little help from Brandon Collins. Well, th and this is the beauty of this sport, is when you put your nose in somebody else's business, you're gonna catch a receipt, always. Well, right now, this crowd catching the glare of the owner of the Coastal Wrestling Federation, Marshall Briggs, also our D1 champion. He does have a slightly intimidating stare, doesn't he, Donnie? Very intimidating indeed. I've had to stare at it point blank more than once. Nothing I would like to do again. Me either. Mama Sims no fan of Marshall Briggs. Oh, we know why Mama Sims is not a fan. Her son and Marshall Briggs used to be tag team champion partners here in the Coastal Wrestling Federation. They have since parted ways and are not on amicable terms. Pensacola last month, and now we're back here in Milton. I gotta tell you, I'd say it smells like home, but I don't want to claim this. One thing that the illustrious CWF champion didn't mention when he was introducing me. Hey. That wasn't an invite for commentary from the inbred. Shut your mouths, Milton. One thing, one thing that the CWF champion didn't mention, yeah, I'm all those things he named, but I'm also the reigning CWF Division I champion. Which, by the way, is a title that I won Fair and square. Yeah, right. Which, Which by the way, is a title I have defended with nothing but integrity, fairness, perseverance. Listen, there ain't no other fighting champion like me other than the Flowhawk. We are the two most fighting champions in the CWF. And after tonight, after tonight, after we dispose of these two little shrews backstage, the Enterprise will hold all the gold. They'll have the CWF championship. The Division I championship and the Tag Team Championship. There's three things that all you can do about it. The first is to shut your mouths while I'm talking. Hey, if you continue to disrespect us, we'll leave this ring right now. Your last yeah. chance, Bill, I'm telling you, shut, shut the hell up before I leave this ring. Okay. 
Marshall Briggs, a man of his word. He is a man of his word, Donnie. That we know for sure. We both know this very well. He is a man of his word. Oh, you know what? I changed my mind. You're a bunch of sheep. Sometimes them words are a little no, twisted. You don't dictate what the Enterprise does. Nobody dictates what the Enterprise does. Let me make it clear. All of you paid to see us. We certainly didn't pay to see you. Valid so, points. Tonight, the Enterprise will leave with all the gold and all the control. You saw from the video package that some things didn't necessarily go our way through the ground five. Yeah, like you losing a manimal. And it's obvious that some people learn extremely slow. There's one individual who claims to be the smartest on the roster who's probably the biggest idiot we have, Desmond Tebow. Desmond Tebow, tonight, you're going to go down at the head of the Enterprise in the form of Jet Danger and Rob Ocho. Johnny Romano, the guy who's stuck in the 90s. The guy who's stuck in the 90s and looks like he is almost in that age bracket. Johnny Romano. Are you done? John, you're going to go down as well, but you see, tonight is about vengeance. And it starts with a certain guy who says he's risen, and that name is uh, Brandon Collins? I think Brandon... Speak of the angels, it seems as if uh, Brandon Collins has no respect for Marshall Briggs, interrupting him like that. Well, it was as I was saying, Brandon Collins. Here you go, Brandon. Brandon Collins successfully defeated Chris Mason at Proving Ground 5. And then Marshall Briggs just showed up and granted him, quote unquote, a title shot at the D1 title. Brandon was not successful in that endeavor. You want to talk about vengeance? What you did at the last show is despicable. I agree, Brandon. So Subjective. Shot after I just went through a war with Chris Mason, in which I won the last man standing match. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, get your little Enterprise goons to block me, because you know if I could, I would get across this ring and whoop your ass. You know, Brandon, you've got your little fan club over here, but I'm standing by and here to protect you. You see, as the guy who runs this show, it's not a good investment for me to drop you on your ass right here in this ring. That's not good. So I don't want to do that. I protected you. You're a new dad, right? You're a new dad? Yes. Yes, I have a father. I want you to be able to play with your child, so that's why I'm here and you're there. Be careful about it. You think I came here alone? Oh, 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 we recognize that music. That is the minimal of steel, Caden Marks. The minimal of steel, who at Proving Ground 5, with a little help from Brandon Collins, was able to pin Marshall Briggs 1, 2, 3 in that Marshall Law match. Not only that, he has a shot at the CWF title. Yes, he does. And the Manimal is walking ever so confident around the ring. He knows he has that opportunity. He Man knows he's beaten Marshall Briggs. Manimal, very confident, has accomplished a lot. Former tag team champion, former two-time D1 champion. Has risen through the ranks here in the CWF. And now with that title shot, at some point in time, him and the Royal Flow, as he likes to call himself, Justin Flow, will be in contention for that belt. We don't exactly know when that'll take place, but right now I think other issues are more important. With my tag team partners, I have something to say to you, Marshall. Hey, hey, hey man, you. before you get started, are you looking for something?
See, Marshall, I'll give you that. I'll let you keep that title. Because we all know what happened at Proving Ground. That's not my focus right now. Like I said, I'm going to bring the Enterprise one by one. I'm done with him. I'm done with you. Flo, you next. Mel, you want to see that match tonight? Yeah, I'd love to see that match tonight. I would, too. I would love to see it tonight as well, Donnie. I'm, both, I'm excited. I, I don't have any you notes, but... You want to see the Mandible of Illumina win a championship here tonight? I would like to see Manimal beat Flo, yes. Maybe we should, we should all just fight each other right here, right now. Give the people what they want, Marshall. Gotta give the people what they want. Team leader. <laughs> this is for people with gold, which means you're not involved. I don't think you want it, Bill. I don't think you want what you're asking for. You wanna fight me right now, boy? Mm. Is that what you want? Come on, get right in the ring. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's, Let's go. go. You ain't got no support from this crowd, do you? Well, got my hopes up, Zach. They got my hopes up, too. That was very unfulfilling. Well, we will see Caden Marks and Brandon Collins in action later tonight. Run away. Run away just like the Enterprise is really good at. Cheating and running. Can't disagree with you there, Brandon. See you later tonight in the main event. Me and Mr. Moore here. We're gonna teach the Enterprise as less. Cause like we say, we're gonna break them down one by one. And with the help of y'all, it's not gonna be that hard. The Enterprise always runs. And tonight, y'all gonna run again.